I'm really, really in love. So the other two, they've got a lot to live up to. I feel like you could light $90 on fire and your money would be better spent. Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. I'm Summer. I am very excited for today's video. I say that a lot, but I really mean it for today. I recently did a review of Revlon Plus, their one-step blow dryer, and I was a little disappointed in the amount of volume it gave me. So I went on the hunt for a smaller, true round brush blow dry brush in hopes to fill my volume goals. The point of an actual round brush over the standard oval shape that most blow dry brushes are is that it's going to create most likely more volume and movement through the hair. The oval shape is great for smoothing, but not so much for body, at least in my opinion. There are plenty of us who have straight, fine, flat hair that we need that extra kick of volume that I feel like a lot of the blow dry brushes on the market don't really give you should you fall into that category. So in this video today, we will be going over T3's airbrush duo, Babyless Pro Nano Titanium Rotating Hot Airbrush and Conair's Titanium Ceramic Hot Airbrush. All three of these are different sizes and different price points, and it's time to see which one performs the best. So first up, we have the beautiful Airbrush Duo. It is so pretty. This is an interchangeable brush coming with both a round brush and a paddle brush. The round brush is two and a half inches, and it's the biggest of the three that I'm gonna be using. This has ceramic coating, so it's gonna help with some shine. They have five heat settings, which I love, and three speed settings. They also have a volume boost switch for added texture and body, and it is recommended to use it on slightly damp hair. You get a two-year warranty, and this dryer is 900 watts. This is at our highest price point, retailing for $179.99. So now that we have broken this down, it's time to use this beauty. Okay, so here we have it. This thing is so beautiful and pretty. I love it. All the T3 products are really beautiful. But um, it's pretty simple to swap out the brush head. You simply just click on the unlock button, twist it, take it off, put it back on, just twist it. We've got the power button right back here along with the cool shot button. And then on the front, you have the volume boost your heat settings and your speed settings. So I'm gonna blow dry my hair using the volume boost shot on and um, I'll play around with the heat settings. I'm not sure yet which one I wanna do, but I'm definitely gonna blow dry on high. I am gonna be using Moroccan Oil's root boost on my roots as well as their volume boost on my ends for that added boost of volume. Actually, one thing I am gonna do, I'm just gonna lightly blast my roots because you can detach this just to give a little extra kick. Um, that always helps with your blow dries. So I'm just gonna. Sometimes if you just do like a quick burst at your roots, it helps just to add a little bit of extra kick. So that's why I did that. And then I'm just gonna section it off starting in the back and work my way up. I love it so much. I feel like my hair looks so full. I am honestly shocked that it got this much volume. I did use my volumizing products, but I did that with the Revlon and this was not the end result at all. Um, it did take me some time. It took me like 35, 38 minutes. That is a long time, but I did use the cool shot on every single section just to really lock in that body. But I am more than happy with it. Things that I am currently loving. It is not crazy hot. I had it on the high heat setting. I never had an issue with my hand touching the brush or touching my hair, um, where I know some of the blow dry brushes get extremely hot, which is just not good for your hair. I feel like I've got a lot of shine going on there too from the ceramic coating. I'm really, really in love. So the other two, They've got a lot to live up to with this being so well. I don't know that I'm gonna use the other attachment with it just because I specifically bought this to try the round brush part of it because I want that body and fullness. I don't need smoothing. I need the opposite. I am gonna use this tomorrow to just like reshape my hair. I sleep with my hair up in a ponytail and then I might run, I might not, we'll see. But either way, I always restyle my hair every morning. So we'll see how it does for reshaping. So stay tuned. Okay, I look like a crazy person, but I sleep with my hair up so it gets these little creases. So I'm just gonna use 
um, the T3 to reshape my hair and see how it does. I've still got some good body, man. I'm very, very impressed with this. So I'm gonna reshape and then I'll show you guys the after look. So yeah, I am completely loving this tool. It's working amazing. It took me just under 20 minutes. I did still implement though that cool shot button per section just to give me the most amount of height. And then tomorrow I'm gonna use the baby list to see how it compares up against this beauty. Will it be as good? I don't know, stay tuned. All right, so today I am going to be trying out the Babyless Pro Nano Titanium Rotating Hot Brush. It actually rotates, which I don't know if I should be nervous or excited about that one. This brush head is two inches, which is my typical preferred brush size. So I'm excited about that to try it. This is also ceramic coating as well. So it's gonna help with that shine and heat damage. They claim that using the rotating spin option is going to give you added volume and not using it will give you a little bit more of a sleeker look. So so we'll see. They suggest using this on hair that is 80% dry. It has three temperature settings, um, a two year limited warranty, and it retails for $89.99. Okay, so I'm gonna try out the Babyless brush. I did still go ahead and add in Moroccan Oil's Root Lifter and their mousse to my hair. I don't know if my hair is 80% dry or not. I feel like it's dry enough for it. Uh, it's pretty similar in size to the T3. Um, the T3 brush, actual brush is a little bit bigger, um, but the baby less is super light compared to the T3. Now that the T3 is heavy, but this is like nothing. So I'm just gonna get my hair sectioned off and we'll go and we'll see how well it performs. Oh, I also, the rotating thing. This looks so crazy. <laughs> I'm actually very nervous to try out the rotating thing. So we'll see how it does. I am gonna be using high the whole entire time. The low is just too low. And then I'm still gonna be implementing the cool shot as we go throughout each section. Okay, the rotating aspect, I don't, I'll have to see as we go along more, but it definitely pulls really hard at the hair. I don't know if you're supposed to like have it down and then let it roll it up. I'm not sure. Okay, so here's my finished look. I do have volume in body, I will say that, but I cannot get this side of my hair here smoothed out. Um, I flipped the brush like to the, do the top and the bottom with the rotating thing going and it just wouldn't get it smooth. I do feel like these bristles are a little too thick for finer hair. Like I noticed doing it, it was hard to get my hair like completely, I feel like through it. Um, they're just thick compared to where T3 you have a little bit mixed and they're shorter. So I don't know if that's a problem. I do like the rotating aspect of it. I think that's cool. I definitely think this brush though is meant for your hair to be completely dry not even 80% dry, completely dry. Halfway through, I just got frustrated because this took me 50 minutes. Um, so 10 minutes longer than the T3 and I even blasted my top section, just like dry with my blow dryer just to get it going more so because it was taking too long. Um, but I don't have any curl or anything. It's just these are kinks from the clips. So it's kind of frustrating that it didn't smooth that out. This is only 500 watts, so it's a lot less powerful than the T3. It doesn't get super hot, which is good and also bad at the same time. So we'll see how it does in the morning to reshape as far as like keeping the body and stuff. I'm gonna smooth this out with a, my regular blow dryer and brush, but um, we'll see how it does for reshaping on fully dry hair for my final opinion on it. So I will see you guys tomorrow. Okay, so this is the next morning. I'm gonna reshape with the baby list, see how well it does at kind of refluffing and get the volume up, hopefully. So we will see. Okay, so here is my um, 
final result, if you wanna call that, with the babyless. My hair looks disgusting, it feels disgusting. I have a lot of opinions on this that I'll do more of them in my like wrap up towards the end, but I'm not impressed at all with this. You also, if you put too wide, too much hair, it will break off in the uh, twirling, rotating brush head. So that was fun to see hair breaking off. And um, even if I use a smaller section, it just, the way it rotates, it'll slide up on the brush thumb and uh, rip out. So yeah, I'm not impressed. I think you could light $90 on fire and it would be better spent. All right, last up we have the Con Air Hot Air Brush. This is the smallest in size at 1.5 inches for the brush. Like the other two, it has a ceramic coating. You get two heat settings with this, plus a cool shot. This boasts that you're going to get frizz protection as well. This, like the Baby Liss, is only 500 watts, so it's less power than the T3. And I couldn't find anywhere if it says it has a warranty or not, but it is at the lowest price point of just $34.99, making it our most affordable option. So let's put it to the test and see how it performs. Okay, so looks wise, this is very similar to the Baby Liss as far as how the settings are. Um, I'm excited for the smaller brush head. I'm hoping it gives me more volume. I do like that the bristles are a combination, like the T3 where the Baby Liss was all just these um, softer ones. But I did go ahead and rough dry my hair some with my regular blow dryer just because this is only 500 watts. And the Baby Liss, it took so long. I'm really not trying to sit here for an hour and do this again. Um, I did use Moroccan oil on my roots and ends, the mousse on my ends, same as with the other two, so just wanna make note of that. And we'll go ahead and get started. Hopefully, this gives me some nice body, like the T3 with it being a smaller brush size. the little engine that could. She performed well. I don't know that I think I have quite as much volume as when I use the T3, but I, I'm a lot more impressed with it than with the baby list. That took me roughly about 27 minutes, I'm gonna say. So like I said, I did blast my roots dry some just because the baby list took me forever. And I still even like halfway through um, using the baby list um, blew out my roots and my hair looks a lot better with this guy than the baby list. So I'm really pleased, $33. Who would have thought? She did good. So tomorrow I'll reshape it, see how it does for reshaping. I sleep with my hair up, so it might get some kinks and whatnot, but I really think that it looks good. It's bouncy and shiny. Um, it feels nice, it went through my hair really well, and I'm overall just happy with it. Can't complain. Okay, so I'm gonna be reshaping today with Conair's Hot Air Brush. See how it does for reshaping, getting out my hair tie lines. So we will see. Okay, so this is my finished look with the reshaping with the Conair. Maybe not as much body as I feel like it might have gotten me last night or compared to the T3, but my hair looks nice, it feels nice. It's still got some shine to it, but it got out those kinks, I feel, that were left over from my hair tie. So I'm gonna go ahead and wrap this up and give my final thoughts and recommendations to you guys. All right, I have gone through the brushes, trying them out this week, and it's time for my final thoughts. I wanna let you guys know that all of these will be linked below to where you can purchase them. If you have used any of these yourselves, please leave a comment below and let me know what your thoughts are. So the one that impressed me the least, I think it's obvious that it was Baby Liss's Rotating Hot Air Brush. I was so disappointed with this as they always have very nice products as a whole, so I'm not really sure what went wrong here. My issues with it is that that it's only 500 watts, so it's not really producing enough heat or speed. The bristles on the brush, they're so thick that I found it hard to get my hair to really grab onto the barrel unless I use the rotating button. 
I have very fine hair and it still wasn't getting the kinks out in my hair from my clips. So I imagine one with coarser, thicker hair that might be more of a problem. While I like the idea of the rotating option, I think it's a great way to get your ends to really turn under. But if you take too wide of a section, it will catch your hair in the top part of the brush and break it. So that's not ideal. It took me around 15 minutes to get my hair styled and that was even incorporating rough drying my hair halfway through because I just couldn't with it anymore. Even on my second day reusing it to style my hair, I was just not impressed with it. It was still difficult to get my hair through the brush and my finished look was nothing to be happy with. I really was just expecting more from them. And for a $90 price point, I just don't feel it's worth it. The Conair Hot Air Brush, it really impressed me. While it is only 500 watts like the baby list, I did feel it was a touch hotter as far as the temperature goes. The bristles I felt were a much better setup. I liked the mix of the two different types and they were not so thick. I did rough dry my hair more because um, with the time frame of the baby list, I was not trying to do that again. And it took me just under 30 minutes to get it styled with the Con Air, and I was happy with my results. I was hoping with a smaller brush size that I would have gotten just a touch more volume at my root, but for $35, I really can't complain with the results it gave me. I felt like my hair had shine and the brush was easy to get through my hair. If the wattage was higher on this one, I almost want to say I think that it would be up there in the lineup with T3. And on my second day of using the Con Air, while I didn't feel like maybe I had as much body with it, I do think it performed well overall. And again, that $35 price point, you really can't complain. Last but certainly not least, we have the T3 Airbrush Duo, my top pick and most happy with one. I did not rough dry my hair any, I just air dried it and my results were amazing. It took roughly 40 minutes, so still a lengthy time, but the end was worth it. I really did not expect to get the volume that I did. It's 900 watts, so out of the three, it has the most power, which I think really makes all the difference here. While I don't think you need five heat setting options with this, I did love the option of the volume booster and I love their cool shot. You just hit it once and it automatically turns it to cool and you simply hit it again to go back to where your heat setting was before. Out of the three, their cool setting worked the fastest and was the coolest temperature. I do wanna make note, my blow dry time frames were definitely extended on all three of these by implementing the cool shot. It certainly would not take as long if I didn't do that, but I was looking to get the most volume and adding the cool shot to any blow dry really helps set the look in that you're trying to get. And I was just as happy using the T3 my second time to reshape my hair as the first time. It got through my hair just as easily and it still gave me ample volume. I like the mix of the bristles on this, same as Conair's. While I did not try out the paddle brush that comes with it as I was demoing these for the most volume, it is a nice added bonus, especially for the price point. I do wanna add as a con, I am familiar with some of T3's tools, their Twirl Trio and the Cure Lux Dryer. They make some beautiful products. However, I feel the exterior lacks some and it chips easily. Performance wise though, I have always been happy with their tools. It just annoys me a little bit. Um, the exterior quality doesn't seem to be as sturdy. All in all though, of the three, the T3 Airbrush Duo is by far my top pick. It is the highest price point of $179.99, but of the three, it is definitely built the best and performs the best. I don't see how anyone would not be happy with it. If it's out of your price range, I would suggest Conair's Hot Airbrush. It's a fraction of the cost of T3s, and I was really surprised with how well it worked for just $34.99. Sadly, I would not recommend Baby List at all, which is so disappointing for me. I'm not sure if maybe I just got a bad one or something went wrong. I don't know, but I would for sure recommend the T3 and Conairs over the baby list. These will all be linked below in the description to where you can purchase. Let me know again if you have used any of them and what your favorite is. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please like, share, and subscribe, and I will see you next week.